Sidecar time. Again. Last time you guys saw me do a sidecar, it was literally mold, mold, put together, yada, yada, yada. Second time you saw me do a sidecar, it was mold, mold in another piece, and then attached together with paracord. This time you're going to see me do it is with pale horse mold. Makes the job easier. The only thing, this particular mold isn't the flexible one with the, uh, the paracord in between. You can order that from them, but this particular one was ordered like over a year ago, does not have that option because I believe back then you didn't have that option. So let's get this going. This particular mold we ordered with no blocking, as in there's nothing to mount anything because generally you do uh, J clips or something like that. So, but we are adding rubber loops, which means we need to add the blocking. I found this out the hard way because I made this holster and I completely forgot the blocking. And I decided to film this one. So, this is a right-handed holster. So figure out which mold you want that's going to be right-handed. Gun on the right is right-handed. So, let's modify this. Before we get to that, actually, turn your heat press on. It's on. It's heated up. And I'm gonna, I don't remember if I've said this before, but once you get it on and it's up to temperature, close it. Let it do a cycle. It gets all the moisture out of your pad. That's hot. But do it. Now, here's my first attempt at this holster. Right? And we know, or at least I know, I messed this up. These are supposed to mount up here. Whoopsie! So, let's get it going. Now we can do whatever we want. You know, I have the, the metal blocking that we can do. Uh, I will show you other things that you can do as well. And uh, we can kind of get you, get you going from there. Uh, I know for a fact that this one is no sweat shield. So, I'm going to mount this pretty much where it would be good. Uh, so this one right here, I literally have a nickel on top of a penny. And that's going to be my blocking. So this, you want, and just snug it down. And literally all this is doing, making it so it doesn't move. And what you don't want to do is cover... Don't cut your mold, but don't cover vacuum ports. All right, there's one. Now, another one I did a while back. Let's see if I can find it here. There it is. I was doing a vacuum mold for the Glock 19, and I needed to have left-handed, so I came up with that to go over it. I'm going to see if it'll work on this. It's going to go this way. Clearly doesn't work on this one, but you get the you get the point. So, but we're gonna need something like this for uh, for this right here. Given this is almost perfect, um, but we're gonna do something else. So let's find so many molds here. Let's find another piece of blocking, more light. All right. So what we're gonna want to do? Is we're gonna mount this here, or we could go down lower. We could go up higher. You know, it's going to be pretty much wherever you want it. So, we could, we could put it there and balance it right there. Or, like I said, just stick it back here and go from there. The only problem is it's, I mean, it's really high. So, what you can do is, uh, actually, let's make a piece of blocking ourselves. Let's do it that way. Get a piece of scrap wood, which is your quarter-inch MDF. All right, and let's do... Let's do that size, and we'll trace it. And fairly certain, yeah, that was close, but we know it's that wide. So, Okay, and then I pretty much just eyeball this, so I'm going to hover above it. All right, 
I'm going to cut that. See what it looks like. Now, before I go ahead and waste all the time. Oh, that's awesome. I like it. But notice how much thicker it is. So what I'm going to do. Push that down a little bit more. And we know that's how thick. Get rid of that. That's got to be. Let's make it. Looky, looky. I made it skinny. So. Not bad right there. Not bad, not bad. All right. And then what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a little piece of tape. I'm going to put that tape right there. And there we go. Let's press it. Quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch, not quarter inch. So remember that. So that's pretty easy, straightforward. And then what we're going to do is <laughs> clean up this phone. Our 7.30 seconds. That's what we use for our retention. And go ahead and do that for your magazine. And once you get that done, go ahead and clean all of them. And then for this one, we know we're going to put it here. And might as well do two holes like a foamy. Uh, that way this person can actually switch out if they want it to, but they can also put it wherever they want. I'm going to stick it on the outside one. What you want to keep in consideration is uh, people have belt buckles and stuff, and the further apart you have them, you don't have to worry about the belt buckle. Next step before we do any buffing or sanding or anything like that, rivet them together. And we are going to mount 
all the necessary hardware. So we're gonna mount this hardware before we bend it, but we're gonna end up doing this too because it's all in the mold, so it's not gonna matter for us. All right, so I'll show you how I do mod wings without moving. These are three quarter inch screws. These are eighth inch, uh, let's see, yeah. threaded post, and these are eighth inch um, pass-throughs. The difference between a pass-through and a threaded post is, you can see there's no uh, flathead mark here. So I use those. Put your claw on, take one of the pass-throughs, hold it in place, and get your screw started. the pass-through, drop it, pick it back up, drop it again, get it in the hole, all right before you tighten put it in its final spot which is going to be right there add your quarter inch retention Then take your flathead screwdriver and go ahead and throw your threaded post on. So when you adjust retention with this setup, you're actually going to use a flathead screwdriver and adjust it from the rear. And then you're gonna choose which one you wanna do on here. This is the long guy and the thinner one. I'm going to put the thin one on and the end user can decide which one they wanna use. And that just requires putting the nut here and throwing this on. Slide in your quarter inch retention for the magazine. And then drop that. There you go. Put your hardware in there. Okay, I actually happen to have a magazine here to test it. But we're going to go fold it now. You can set it up in your drawers. Now, there's two ways you can set up your drawers. If you notice, the drawers are generally reversible. One side smooth, one side is knurled for grip. I don't feel like changing them out because I use them for everything. So that's why I have this folded up uh, four times. So I'm just gonna mount it on the magazine, just enough to, to clamp on it. You don't really want to reef on it because you'll bend the hell out of your magazine. Let your heat gun get to temp, and we're gonna go right below the sight channel on both sides. Final pieces of the puzzle. Let's get your hardware. We're going to set this up for 1.75. So, this is what I do. 
thread the screw into the hole. That way you don't have to try and like pry everything together. So set it up like you need it. And there you go. So take the quarter inch that comes with it. We might have to swap these out to smaller ones. We'll see when this goes in. Oh. And of course. There we go. Put the direction you need it. That fits good. And then we're gonna put this one all the way on this side. Alright, those feel good as well. So there is an appendix rig for the Glock 19 with sidecar.